No recession on the horizon, says Brian Westbury, the chief economist, and Bob Stein, uh, the deputy chief economist over at First Trust Advisors. Uh, Dateline 11-4-2019. Says the earliest days of the current economic expansion, there have been naysayers asserting the U.S. was on the brink of another recession. Remember all the fear about another wave of home foreclosures or a disaster in commercial real estate or the fiscal cliff? or Greece potentially, Greece potentially leaving the Eurozone, or the German bank defaults, or even the inverted yield curve earlier this year. Yep. The list goes, and the repo, don't forget the repo market. The list goes on and on and on. And I have never heard of the repo market, and all of a sudden I know where everyone is talking about the repo market. It's weird. When I heard repo, I was like, repossess? I was thinking, uh, taking over cars? I never understood uh, <laughs> the weirdest thing. I was like, what the hell is the repo market? Chilling. I'm not so arrogant to say just because I never heard of it doesn't mean it's relevant, but I just find that interesting that they're making up stuff to get uh, worried about. I, I, no one's ever heard of the repo market until about three months ago. I guess they start talking about the beginning of January 2019, but again, uh, it's like we're always looking for something to be fearful of. It's nuts. One by one, the pessimistic theories have been proven wrong. Yes, the U.S. will en- eventually fall back into a recession, but we don't see it happening this year or next or probably not even in 2021 either. It's early, but we think the U.S. economy is poised to grow around 2.5% in 2020, about the same pace as this year. That's 2.5% in 2020, which is about the same pace in 2019. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Earnings remain at solid levels in spite of the headwinds of trade uncertainty, which should diminish in the months ahead. Technological innovations is proceeding at an amazing pace. The key M2 measure of the money supply has accelerated. M2 is up 6.6% in the past year versus 3.5% in the year ending one year ago. Business are contributing to adjust, are continuing to adjust to a lower corporate tax rate and a better regulatory environment. This does not mean that every aspect of the U.S. economy is going to be rainbows, teddy bears, and flying unicorns. We are not experiencing the rapid economic growth that we had back from the mid-80s to the late 90s, but the economy has picked up from the plow horse pace of mid-2009 through early 2017. Hmm. wonder what could be the difference there. Hmm. While we expect the economy to grow around 2.5% next year, some sectors won't do quite as well. For example, fundamentals like driving age population growth and scrappage rates suggest sales of cars and light trucks will probably continue to slow somewhat in the next few years. Uh, That's interesting. Driving age population is on a downtick. This is a reason to shed macroeconomic tears, though. Auto sales have been gradually slowing since 2016, while the overall economy has accelerated. Just look at Friday's employment report, which beat consensus and revised up job growth for prior months. Unemployment ticked up to 3.6%, but essentially is unchanged from 3.52 to 3.56, and is at a 50-year low in just about every category. Minority groups, female, non-college grads are seeing unemployment rates near the lowest levels on record. Although some analysts are bemoaning softness of business investment, real, i.e. inflation-adjusted, uh, business investment is still 14% of real GDP, which is a higher share of real GDP than any previous business cycle expansion. As a result, while productivity looks to have been tepid in the third quarter, the underlying trend uh, has picked up, and that means faster growth in living standards than during the plow horse phase of the expansion. Perhaps the biggest oddity is that the Federal Reserve just finished cutting interest rates out of three consecutive meetings at the end of 2018, the Fed was projecting it was raised short-term interest rates by 50 basis points this year, while forecasting the U.S. economy would grow 2.3%. Unemployment would drop to 3.5%, and uh, the uh, personal consumer expenditures would increase one9 The forecast for growth in unemployment looks solid, although PCE prices will be up more like 1.5% this year versus one9 That shortfall inflation doesn't justify a turnaround for planned hikes to three cuts. In turn, the current stand of, stance of monetary policy and the Fed looking unlikely to raise rates anytime soon suggests the path ahead is solid for economic and growth and bullish equities. There you go, man. What more can you say? Monday morning outlook, no recession on the horizon. Yep, couldn't agree more. Uh, you should sign up for Brian Westbury's First Trust uh, Advisors blog. At for, I, I don't know what the website is. What is the website here? Does it tell us? I'm not sure. But uh, First Trust Advisors, just look for Brian Westbury. I will right, we'll see you.